Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Batman Arkham Asylum 100% hard mode today, and this time we gotta go this way. Uh, there's gonna be a few guards out there we gotta take out. I think they're unarmed. No, they're all armed. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to get behind him, that's how we do it again, yeah. It's been quite a bit of time since I've done this, so... It's been about a week since I've played Batman. Well, Arkham Asylum, that is. I actually, strangely enough, wanted to play Arkham City today. That's something you never really ever hear me say. That and I said something really surprising yesterday too. I said, uh, man, I don't have a lot of games. That's the first time I ever said that. Usually I say I have too much games. And then I just go straight out and straight out and just sell them off or something. I don't know what happened yesterday though, but I, I woke up and my throat has been sore. And, well... It's kind of been that way ever since, and so I might not talk as much or be as hyperactive as I usually am in these episodes. I mean, I'll still be how I usually am, just I won't be like extremely loud or extremely hyperactive or anything like that. But I don't think anything, you know, too ragey or anything would happen to me. I'm sure something funny could happen, but anything amongst the anger part should not happen at all. I mean, I'll probably die a few times, but that's normal when I play Batman anyway. I'm gonna probably end up getting killed off anyway. I also had a... well, I had a dream, as always. A nice one, too. And, uh... I remember I was watching, or I was watching somebody play it, or somebody... Or I was playing it, either way. Uh, I, I remember specifically seeing some Batman Arkham Knight gameplay. Of course, it was a dream, so it was always obviously fake. But I thought that I was either playing or seeing some Batman Arkham Knight. And there was a part in the game where you look at a cat, right? And it has this little lock-on target thing. That's red to show, like, oh yeah, you can play as Catwoman in this game still. I'm like, okay. And then all of a sudden, Batman pulls out like this little gun thing and just shoots the cat and kills it. And they're like, well, he didn't kill a human, did he? I don't know, it was, and then, we, then it goes into like some other actual gameplay where we fight for a bit and then I woke up. <laughs> so, yeah, it was weird. I guess I've been in a really big Batman mood lately. Enough to start having it show up in my my nightly rest attitudes. My nightly escapades, I guess you could say. Alright. I forget what we're do- oh yeah, the fingerprints, that's right. Oh crap. Did I just get shot? Oh, I hope not. No, I think that was a storm. Yeah, I think that was a lightning... Lightning strike. Okay, why did this guy go from a sniper to an armed guard? Well, I mean, he was already armed, but I mean, why did he go from a sniper to that? That confuses me a lot. Alright. I know there's a few unarmed over here. Hopefully the uh, sniper guy won't see me. At least he shouldn't. I keep forgetting that I can't actually... Um... I can't slide in this game. Hopefully they'll bring that back. There's a lot of things I want to see back in Batman Arkham Asylum. Or, sorry. Bat back in Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, jeez. And one of them, sure, will be sliding. I really like sliding. It actually took me a while to figure it out, but you can slide into crates. Or grates, or whatever you want to call them. I know, right? I'm retarded. For the longest time, I did not know you could do that. I know, I I'm pulling... A lot of problems here. Considering the fact that I'm pretty bad at this game. Well, I mean, I don't have, like, a counter, you know, thing to see. So I don't really know when they're always going to hit me. I mean, I do know, but I don't, you know, as well. So, I mean, sometimes they can come out of, like, off-screen and then hit you that way. That That's the problem sometimes. Alright, so you can get up now. You're free. I just saved your life. You should thank me for that. I think in here, there should be a Riddler trophy. I, I forgot we actually have the grappling hook, or the bat claw, I guess you could call it. Yep, here we go. Riddler trophy. We need to get as many as we can before the end of this Let's Play, because I don't want to spend time, you know, going through the whole damn thing. Just having you guys watch me okay. go through the Riddler cleanup part again. I mean, I will do a Riddler cleanup part. Probably. I'm gonna probably have to, because by the time we get to the end of the game, we'd probably already have almost at least everything. Or, 
close to everything, but we probably wouldn't have everything exactly. This guy, there's no real technical way to sneak up on all of them. You can only sneak up on that one guy. So just wipe out. Since you're going to have to wipe out somebody, I always recommend the armed guy first. Just saying. Alright. Man, I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I've been... i just been... I wanted to play some Batman yesterday, but I got caught up playing with my friend all day, so... That's what had happened. We were playing games for pretty much most of the day. My sister's birthday was a couple days ago, and then I took her out to eat yesterday. And... We went to, like, Hardee's, and... It was actually pretty good again. I had it. That was like my second time ever actually eating at Hardee's before. So, you know, it was it was a little different, but it did it did taste pretty damn good. You know, they put a lot of stuff on their burgers, their thick burgers as they call them, but it was pretty nice for once. Okay, there's like a gradient gradient effect going on in this game. I'm starting to notice it now. I've noticed it before, but now it's really starting to kick in because, like, I woke up. Not too long ago, like a couple hours ago, of course I took a shower first and all that stuff to get, me, you know, get myself awake while I play this game. You know, I don't want to play this game and not be awake for it, I guess you could say. I wish... Oh, another thing they should do is... I don't know if... I think one of the Batmans did it already. But where they should have it to where... You can kind of like hack into like the gun safe or something, or like just destroy the gun safe or whatever to where enemies cannot use guns. That'd be... You know, kind of something for me to, something for me to like, I guess you could say. I was also watching a video. I've seen this video before, but I watched it again just to see how stupid it really was. And it was like the top five times Batman's killed somebody in the Batman Arkham games. And I'm like, no, 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 no. no. He did not. Of course, there were no exceptions to the rule. Besides, everything was a loophole. Like in the new Batman Arkham Knight game where he shows like a guy's head to like an electric bolt box or whatever. Electrified, you know, box. And he, they're like, well, it's technically the electricity that killed the guy, not Batman. So a loophole there. I mean, yeah, the video was supposed to be, you know, silly and not taken seriously. But still, I mean, it doesn't matter if the joke was funny or not. It just it seemed kind of off-putting to me, I guess. I didn't really like it it that much. I had a lot of problems with it, you know. I mean, yeah, the loophole idea was pretty funny. You know, the whole idea, like, everything's a loophole, Batman kills somebody, it must be a loophole. That was pretty funny. Just in general, yeah, we still have to come back there anyway, by the way. But just in general, the whole fact of, like, trying to figure out if Batman actually has killed somebody or not, you know, kind of gets annoying. I think there's going to be a cutscene in a few minutes here. No, it's one of these. Screw them. I hate those. And then there was like one in Batman Arkham Origins, and of course they were going to put it in there. Where you can pull a guy down, and he'll like fall off an edge, or whatever. I don't remember exactly what place it was, but it's like right near where you go to the police station or something like that. And uh, there's like a like a ring kind of thing with a fence on it. You can back claw somebody off of it, and of course they're going to fall down to their death. But it wasn't Batman that killed him, it was gravity, so, you know. Alright, a mistaken identity. I wonder who that could possibly be. Cash, what are you doing there? You need to get me out of this what are you doing in that cell, you it's me, dipweed? Me, of course it's not. It's Clayface. Actually, it's funny. It's Clayface doesn't show up until Arkham City. As a, uh, I was about to say playable character. No, as a, um... An enemy, if you guys remember that. He was technically the final boss of the game, so... And it actually was a good boss. I actually enjoyed the boss fight. I actually am probably the only person out of anybody in this whole damn world who actually likes uh, Arkham Asylum's final boss. Because I love Arkham Asylum. I mean, yeah, it's not as good as, um, you know, Bioshock 1's final boss exactly, but... I mean, the Atlas fight and stuff like that was not really a letdown, but it's still probably not the best. Harley! Ah! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. 
Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I barely don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. That feels so much better. I could watch us two all day. What a riot! And speaking of riots, here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. <laughs> Great, now we got lunatics to deal with. Of course. Alright, so now we found the warden. I keep forgetting that it's Quincy. Oh, I forgot to read that. Oh well. He actually becomes mayor in the second game, sort of. I think he does, isn't he? Oh, remember, it's been quite some time. Oh yeah, they definitely changed it around. Instead of being on the bottom left, it's actually on the bottom right. So anyway, I want to talk about something. Of course, I want to rant a bit. Um, I have thought about getting the DMC Definitive Edition for Devil May Cry. I, I'm probably not going to get Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition because although Devil May Cry 4 be, you know, may be my favorite, I don't want to go ahead and... All I'm getting out of it is just you're getting, like, what, Trish and Lady to play, uh, you know, playable characters and stuff like that. And of course, Virgil and... I don't know. I mean, I might. I mean, if it comes to trophies, more than likely I'll probably get it, of course. That was the one thing that made me sell it back in the day, was it didn't have trophies, and I got pissed. I'm like, no, no trophies, fuck it, who cares? Although there are in-game achievements, but who knows that they're going to actually have trophies or not. For PS4 or achievements for Xbox. I mean, I don't know, come to think of it, maybe I might. Maybe I should just get rid of my Devil May Cry 4, my vanilla, and my DMC vanilla, vanilla now. But what... What pisses me off is I already bought the Virgil DLC for it, the Virgil Downfall, even though I didn't want, I didn't really like the Virgil Downfall DLC to begin with, I still already purchased it. Oh, this was the part I wanted to rant about. So, they released DMC Demi Cry for 40 bucks, right? I'm like, oh, that's good, you know, 40 bucks, not 60 bucks. You know, they didn't release it as a new game, they released it as, well, it's still a new game, yeah, but I mean, it's... Not exactly at full price for a full game. Kind of like with Ratchet Nexus was like 25 bucks when they released it because you're getting your money's worth for it because you're not paying like a whole buttload of money for like a short ass game. That's why Insomniac is awesome. Surprise! Oh yeah, I'm supposed to uh, find Calendar Man's room in here. I usually have a hard time finding his room. I'm not usually that good at it. Oh crap, I'm supposed to get out of this. Oops forgot. Well, anyway, so I'm thinking, you know, yeah, that's great, 40 bucks. I can, you know, people can buy it for like 40 bucks and at least get their money's worth now. Then I realize something. I'm like, wait a minute. What about me? What, if, what about the people who already have the game? Can I not upgrade my, my copy at all? Like, for even like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, I don't even care. Just maybe half price of you know, 40 bucks. That's I'm not gonna go pay 40 bucks extra again out of my pocket just to get the same game I already have. Just non-vanilla. It's like with, you know, Ultra Street Fighter. If you already have all the Street Fighters, you can upgrade it. Then again, I might be re I might be stupid and there might actually be a upgrade for the PS4 or something like that. I have to go check on that though. If they don't have it, I'm gonna be kind of mad. I haven't literally checked on it yet though. But I probably should, just to be on the safe side. You know, just to kind of make sure if I'm wrong or right on this one. If they do have a purchasable upgrade, which of course would be like a digital thing, you have to put your game in there kind of deal, I'm fine with that. I'll do that. I'll pay 15 extra bucks for that. I'm serious. I will pay more money for that. But if they don't, that's going to be kind of a problem for me. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to get the uh, the range upgrade, mainly because the power upgrade is not really necessarily that useful until later. 
Uh, right now, for like extra riddles and stuff, I'm going to be using the power upgrade or range upgrade because we can hack through not really walls, but we can hack from like opposite sides of a door or something, you know, like electric fence door. But back to um, the topic at hand, I I'm thinking about getting it because it's going to have it's got way more stuff to it than of course my copy of Dead May Cry, and hell, I might just go buy that today. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I probably shouldn't sell off DMC, though. I should probably just give it to my brother or something. You know? That way, it'll be gone, I guess. I don't like hand. But, I mean, I got like 20 bucks left on me, so... If they have an upgrade available, that'd be great. That would just be awesome, if possible. But... I might, I, you know what, I thought about it at first, I, I thought about it for a while at first, I'm like, maybe I should, because they're going to have, you know, 20% turbo mode and stuff like that, and all this other cool stuff that they're going to have with it, and gods must die. When you make a game with hard mode, I'm, I'm there, I'm there, straight away, no matter what, I'm going to be there. I'm probably going to end up playing it, you know, that's, that's the thing. Oh yeah, it's in this room, that's right. I, yeah, like I said, I'm probably more likely going to end up buying it. Because I love hard mode in video games. I love the challenge of, you know, being challenged, I guess you could say. This guy's got riding all over his cape and everything. He does not look like that in full in Arkham City, though. He looks a lot different than that. Probably because, you know, he's in Arkham City, for God's sakes. He's kind of cooped up in his cell. I wonder where he actually went to. I don't know exactly. Well, anyway... Yeah, they got like a 20%, you know, they, they beefed up the turbo mode. I think it's like an option, like a modifier. Because I, I've heard they got these other modifiers like hardcore mode and stuff like that, which would be pretty interesting to play. Because I guess they're trying to go back for the old Devil May Cry 1 style or something like that in hardcore mode. Or, I don't know exactly how everything in that, that game's working now, but I do know it's got a lot of interesting stuff. Really interesting stuff on it. And, like, these modifiers to make the game even harder, which is something, you know, great for me to play. Something at least worthwhile for me to play. I wonder if I knock down that door. I don't remember how to get that one. This one I don't remember how to do. It's somewhere around here. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. I should probably check my map just in case. Where do you want me to go? Destroy the Titan predict Oh, I gotta leave. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought I had to go take care of something else in here, but no, we just gotta leave. Which is why I could, uh... God damn it. They closed out the door. Of course they did. They locked it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I might just get rid of... It'd be kind of a, a douche move just to get rid of my vanilla copy, you know. Just to actually sell it off. But I, I might just give it to my brother. If, if I do actually go and purchase the definitive edition, I might as well just give it to my brother for him to play, because... He likes the game, and I, I figured, you know what, I'll be a nice guy and give it to him for free, free of charge. Give him something else to play with. But I also wanted to sell off a few other games, too. I only had, like, one game I wanted to get rid of, and that was Lego, but... Not Batman, but, you know, me able to... I thought about it. I don't know if I would, because I 100% the game, and I thought, you know, what's the point of having it anymore? I, I don't even like the game that much, to be honest. And I thought I would have at first, but... That turned out to be the wrong case. Alright. So we'll shut that one down. And now I think we have to go and unhook him from that. There we go. And of course, a timed bomb. Uh, let's see here. This one, I think. Maybe? I don't know. But you know, I probably shouldn't bitch and moan about it, though, because. 40 bucks is still a lot cheaper than 60 bucks for a full price game, you know. But that's just my logic, I guess you could say. But I usually, when I go buy a game, I usually get rid of like a few other games I don't like or I play too much of and just go buy something else. But the problem was, I only have one game I don't like in my whole collection. I really do. I really don't have any games I don't... Any games I don't really like that much besides... Lego Marvel. I mean, because... To me, Lego Marvel was okay. That's about all it was. It was, just, it was okay. Lego Batman, on the other hand, is...
pretty good too, actually. I've not 100% that one yet. If anybody wanted to know, I do love Lego games. It was. It's not obvious, but I, I do enjoy the Lego games, though. Especially Bonicle Hero. That's probably one of my favorite Lego-based games to play. Uh, there's no point in blowing that wall up because I think it's just going to come back later. And we can't really do anything about this room much yet, so we'll come back to this room later. And Actually, wait, we can go and do, I think... No, the door's locked. That's right. Yeah, because she, she cast the room. Now we're going to come back later, a lot later, to do it. I'll come back when I get my upgrades for it. My gadgets, I guess you could say. I'll deal with it later. But yeah, like, Gods Must Die and all this other crap. It sounds really cool. It really does, because... Dante Must Die in that game was horseshit. It was nothing. It was nothing to play. I will probably play it on this channel. Um, since I actually can't technically play Dead May Cry as a whole, I might as well just play the damn game as... Oh yeah, I really have to close it down. I might as well just play Dante Must Die mode for that game. Well, as far as I can go for the vanilla version. I don't know if I should keep it vanilla or something. I don't know. And then, you know, I'll probably get the Definitive Edition sometime and, and replay through, well, Gods Must Die or something. The hardest difficulty on that. Well, actually, Hell and Hell was probably the hardest. I think so. But Hell and Hell is technically just a modified version of Son of Sparta mode, so it's not really... You know, the hardest difficulty game, or the difficulty of the game, but it's still, you know, one of the harder modes. But that's something I really like about Devil May Cry games, is all those modes you get to play. It gives you plenty of time for replay value, and just, it increases the replay value tremendously for me, at least. For other people, not so much, and I was watching, you know, Big Benedict, he's a guy I like watching, and he was talking about how he doesn't really like unlocking, um... The hard difficulties, and you know, I kind of agree with them on that fact. I don't really like unlocking them myself. What I wish you could do is, I wish you could play through the game once, and you could have all the, you know, tremendously hard difficulties unlocked already. You know, that that would, that would for me make sense. But it's Del May Cry, and nothing in Del May Cry ever makes any damn sense. But again, that's just a thought process of mine. Right now, let's just play some Batman Arkham Asylum and rant and bitch and moan about everything else, because. That's what I like doing. I mean, I already played this game on my channel like once, and I don't really have a big following audience of this, but I might later on in life. Who knows? Because you guys really like to Arkham City. Probably not you guys specifically who are watching right now, but there was a lot of people that seemed to like Arkham City playthrough. You know, I might do Arkham City as a as a hard mode as well. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. But I really am thinking about doing uh, Dante Must Die, because I just skip all the cutscenes because Capcom would, like, you know, copyright you and stuff like that. And I also thought about doing God Mode for God of War 1 and maybe Titan Mode and all that other stuff for God of War 2 and Chaos Mode for 3. Kind of give you guys an idea of how good, of, good at games I really am, because this is just... I'm not saying, like, Batman's a bad choice for hard mode stuff, but Batman's not even that hard. I mean, this is nothing. You know, I, I've played hard games a lot. And hard mode in this game is just you take more damage, you die quicker, enemies don't really take much more hits, but, you know, still. I think there's going to be, like, cutscene. No, that's about it, okay. Uh, for that, we have to, like, zoom in really close. I don't know if I'm going to take out all these guys or not on this funnel valve. Again, I would like to do 30 minute videos, but you know, I feel like 30 minutes is way too long. I think 25 minutes is perfect. At least for me it is. Alright. That thing is dangerous, especially wait until the challenge map. That's when it gets really dangerous. Yeah, we have to do a challenge map with this. I know, right? What's funny is you can't throw an alpha guy off this cliff. It is pretty funny, though. I usually do that just because... Watch, I'll, I'll try it right now. I'll try to throw him off. Yeah, look. I just literally just killed that guy. Probably. Well, I actually hit the ground. He did hit the ground. He hit the wall first and then he hit the ground. So there is a ground to it. So maybe, in fact, you don't actually kill him in this game. You just throw him so far down and knocks him out. Or he, he probably broke a few bones, you know. He's probably sitting in like a rage of shock. I don't know. I don't know how tough these guys' morale are. Well, I mean, they got some tough-ass morale, but I don't know how, you know, 
It's up there. The body efficiency is over. Oh, you little whiner. You little babies. Get over here. Oh, I missed too. Piss. Yeah, I think you can uh, bat claw as a quick fire. I keep forgetting to use. I, I don't usually use quick fire stuff because I, I don't know. Just to me, they don't really do me any good. Damn it! Just get rid of the damn thing. I'm so glad in Arkham City you can have like a search and destroy takedown ability. Where you can take down, uh. Well, you can take down people's weapons. You can't really take them down. Well, you can't. If they don't have any weapons on them, and you do the square X um, takedown ability, you will immediately take them down as a normal takedown. Okay, random, but alright. Just so you guys know, if these guys die in electricity, it's not my fault. It's technically Harley Quinn's. Another another um, game I'd like to do on hard would be uh, Bioshock 1's Survivor No Feet of Chamber Run. That would be amazing if I could do that. Of course I could do it, but I'd like to do a Let's Play first, because it is my favorite game. I mean, I might as well play it first before I do anything super hard. Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me! Well, anyway, folks, um, I'm going to end up this episode here, and as always, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time when we play some more Batman Arkham Asylum. I'd also say you again, like always. Uh, I need to get this thing. Come on, stop with all these. I got it. I got it. I just want to get out of detective mode. I, I can't. It won't let me out because it has to do with all this crap. Okay, can I just solve my riddle? We're, gonna, we're still going to be in here. we got some other things to go check out. Um, I guess I'll show you guys this real quick, as quick as I can. Boop. Boop. Good enough. Okay. Anyway, take care, everybody.